Hello everyone, my name is the Ember Knight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and this is the 19th game in the 31 Days of Horror that we are currently doing on the channel. Today we are playing Clown Art. Um, I don't know much about this game, i just seen it was a, it was very cheap. And... Yeah. <coughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this, um... <laughs> okay. I don't know what to expect from this game. Uh... <coughs> All I would say was, don't expect too much. You know, because this is like a... Shit. This is like a two, two pound game. Um... i to keep adjusting myself and my height. Um, yeah, it's a two dollar. Sorry, I was gonna say two dollar because I was. I was just watching a horror art channel before. Mm. Yeah. So all I can say is, don't. I wouldn't expect much from this game. Um, it was cheap enough, so I just wanted to fit it into the. Uh, into the horror, you know, see if we can get a few scares out of it, maybe like something, I don't know, bedroom door, I do not like that um, picture. This key opens inside house door. Oh, great. No reflection as usual. Um, yeah, this, I don't, ex I, like, I don't expect much from this game. I mean, two pound, I think it's a master bedroom door. Okay. Um, I think it's like a granny type game. Um, Yeah, I don't know what to expect. <coughs> um, I mean, I'm getting some jump scares out of it, so that's something. Um, don't know where he came from. Very worrying. Ooh. How fast is he? Okay, he's not. Ooh, bro, I thought you were like just messing around. Okay, I'm gonna juke him. Well, hey. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, shit. Ooh. 
He's kind of got that um, leather face like anger to him, hasn't he? Oh shit. I love how it's just like really like just daytime and just an abyss outside all of that. <laughs> okay, then he just glides away. Um <coughs> Yeah, I don't know what to say, other than... Ooh, shit. I mean, then again, is there really much to say about this game? Red key, okay. I just want to say right now, no promises to me actually being able to beat this game. Um, because I'm not going to lie, I do not think it's going to be possible for me to beat this game. Um, much like I don't know what game it was, but these are just like little, little horror game gap fillers. Oh, bro's just camping now. I suppose I could like run around here, jump this, and then. Oh shit! Um. Okay, he's away. Got a very strange AI pattern. Coming down here. God damn, bro. I just want to get to that door in the corner. <laughs> I'll give this one more try and then, you know, I don't know what to say. Um, even though this is a... No. <laughs> I don't want to say it's a bad game because, like... And I, I know I've said it in the past. Like, I know I've said on Shim Legacy, I absolutely hate that game. Um, But... There, in my opinion, there is no bad games. Like, I know that's, like, con, con, like, I don't know what the word is. Um, that's, like, um, contradicting, I think it's the word. That's contradicting what I said about, um, Oh, here, come on. That's contradicting what I said about, like, Shame Legacy, but... Now that I've, like... 
given a lot of games a chance. Um, well, I always give games a chance, but perhaps I was a little too harsh on Shame Legacy. No, I want to give it one. I just want to get to that door. I just got to know what's outside. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, I, I was definitely a bit harsh on Shim Legacy. I think I was getting really annoyed at it. Um, also, it was, like, my f one of my first horror games I played on the channel. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it was, it definitely wasn't the best game. Um, but the thing I'm trying to get at is, uh, I would like to think there is no bad games. Um, that's what I was, that's what I was trying to get at. There is no bad games. There's only, as Bob Ross says, happy little accidents. Which, to be honest, um, that only count on mine because I've been watching, um, like I said, a horror channel. Okay, well, who's going on wonders upstairs? I'm going to go in here. Wait, you better not. Big key. I am so close to the exit, I think. Fuck it, I'm gonna sprint to that. I'm gonna sprint to that upstairs. Yeah, um... I'm, I'm getting off track, because this guy's, like... Making me worry that I'm gonna lose all this progress. I'm just gonna... Oh! Um... I'm pretty sure I did say it anyway in the Shame Legacy video, but I'm assuming Shame Legacy was their first ever game. Okay, what about the big key? This key opens locks of red door. Bro, no. Yeah, I, I'm I, again. I'm getting off track. Uh, basically, like Shame Legacy, I believe this might be the person's first game. And that's why it feels a little weird. No hate towards the developers, of course. Um, I know making a game is very stressful. Uh, I'm not going to lie that it's not. Well, sorry, I'm not going to say it isn't because... Of course it's very stressful. It's like... Um, I am so bad at my words. It's 
And uh, basically, oh, for God's sake, what I'm basically trying to say is it's very hard to make a game. And I shouldn't be so judgmental towards games. Um, I don't know why this hammer isn't working. That's kind of worrying. Wonder if I can still grab stuff. Okay, so there was a key in there. There was a key in there. There was a key in there. The only other place I haven't found a key was in the big bedroom. But then again, why would that be a key in the exact room? Open red door, pick up key for cabinet in the attic. Okay, I did have to look. I did look at the trophies there to see what like what that was. Um, there was a key up here. I think I just well, obviously, I'm pretty sure you guys could like tell. I just read out the trophy. <laughs> but yeah, no hate against the developers. If I say anything, um, it's not a bad game. It really isn't. I mean, there has been worse games. That I have played. And not just that, this only cost two pounds, so like, what am I gonna get out of two pound, you know? I shouldn't expect, like, top-notch gameplay. Great, two two more like doors to open. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Shame Legacy on the other hand, that is a sixteen quid game and I know devs have to make their money, but sixteen quid for that like mess of a game, I no. I'm pretty sure I got it on deal, but like, drop it down to like ten pound. I would say. Here I am making accusations on like what developers should do. Um, I don't know though. Like, it's just not. I just didn't like it. Uh, a key to a key. <coughs> yeah, um, I mean, if you guys want to, you can go watch Shim Legacy and you'll see why I don't like it. It was mainly just, um, the AI was like. Very annoying. I have literally everything. It seemed like spamming just did something before.
Okay, but when we, where's the wire cutter's gone? Come on! Oh, there they are. Okay. Why did they do a gun sound? You know what, who cares? Let's just please get these wires off. Oh shit. So that's how you open the door. Um Way. Oh, we beat Clown Art. That's that's all I can find. That's all I can be thankful for that we actually beat the game instead of just being like that's where the episode's end. And um, I hope you enjoy what you see today. Um, again, if the developer is like happening to watch this, no, no bat, no like judgment towards you making this game. I mean. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Um, they didn't overprice it like Shim Legacy did. Even though Shim Legacy, like, it felt like it was trying to be, like, Outlast-style gameplay. Like, Outlast 2, it felt like that had, like, this, the thing. But the enemy placement was just so terrible. Um, but if you enjoy what you see today, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 50 subscribers so I can start streaming games. Because um, I would love to do that. Okay, he's coming down. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video that I do.